Okay, so now we're going to talk about cause and effect. Remember that cause is why something happened and the effect is what happened. So I gave you the examples before. Um, <clears throat> let me give you a new example. Let's say it's sunny outside and I sit outside. What's going to happen? What's the effect? So the cause is it's sunny outside, the effect is I'm going to be hot. Or I don't wear sunscreen, the effect is I'm going to get sunburn, right? So in this story, we're going to look at Kitten's first full moon and see what happens. What are the causes and effects? So you're going to get a regular sheet of paper because I don't have one for you. You're just going to get any regular sheet of paper you're going to fold it in half like my paper this is my paper right here and you're going to fold yours in half at the top you're going to put kittens first full moon and remember we need to capitalize the k the f the f and the m because it's the name of the story it's the title of the story so we need to capitalize the title and then we're going to put cause on one side and effect on the other side. Okay. If you need to pause to do that to your paper, go ahead. In the story, it says it was Kim's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought there's a, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky and she wanted it. So she closed her eyes and stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor Kitten. So there was a cause there. She wanted the, the, the bowl of milk in the sky. So she opened her mouth and licked. So on our first cause, we're going to say she opened her mouth and licked because she wanted that bowl in the sky but what happened what was the effect she opened her mouth but kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue poor kitten so the effect is that she ended up with a bug on her tongue so Mm, we could say ended up with a bug on her tongue. So that was the effect. Okay, let's keep reading. It says, still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom and sprang from the top step of the porch. The kitten only tumbled, bumping her nose and banging her ear and pinching her tail. Poor kitten. So this is what happened. What happened to her? This is the effect. This is what happened. So she tumbled and hurt herself. So the effect over here is that she tumbled and hurt herself. Ouch. Why did that happen? Why did that happen to her? What was the cause? What did she do that caused her to fall? She sprang from the top step of the porch. So she was going after the bull, right? So she sprang. That means she jumped. From the top step. 
So the cause is that she sprang or she jumped from the top step. The effect is that she tumbled and she hurt herself. Let's keep reading. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But Kitten never seemed to get closer. Poor Kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she ran to the tallest tree she could find, and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top, but Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk. Now she was scared. Poor kitten. What could she do? Do you know what the cause and effect is in this page? What happened to kitten? What was the effect? What happened to her? She still couldn't reach the bowl of milk and now she was scared. So the effect is that kitten was scared. She was scared. Why was she scared? What happened to her to make her scared? Well, over here it says, she ran to the tallest tree she could find and she climbed and climbed and climbed to the very top. So she climbed. The tallest tree. So the cause is that she climbed the tallest tree and because of this, the effect is now that she's scared. So because of this, this happened. And then we're almost done here. Then in the pond, Kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night. So she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond. She leaped with all her might. What do you think is going to happen? What do you think the effect is going to be? This is what she's doing. This is the cause. She's chasing that um, huge bowl of milk. What's the effect going to be? What do you think? What's going to happen? I don't know. So the cause we're going to say is that she raced to the pond for that bowl of milk. She raced to the pond for the bowl of milk. That's kind of long, huh? You guys can stop right here. And then what happened? Because she raced to the pond, poor kin, she was wet and sad and tired and hungry. So she fell into the pond. So because she raced into the pond, now she was wet. She was wet. What else does it say? She was wet, sad, tired, and hungry. So because these are all causes and these are all effects. So she opened her mouth to lick and she ended up with a bug in her tongue. That was the effect. She sprang from the top step, that was the cause. And because of this, she tumbled and hurt herself. She climbed the tallest tree is the cause. And because of this, now she was scared. And she raced to the pond for the bowl of milk, but because she did this, the effect is that now she was wet, sad, tired, and hungry. Okay, so those are our causes and effects. And remember I told you these help us be good readers. And it also helps me remember the story. So if somebody were to ask me what the story was about, I can tell them, well, this happened to the kitten and it's gonna help me tell the story to somebody 
who doesn't know what it's about okay good job i do want to see a picture of this and i want you to post it to dojo okay thank you